Driver, tonight. In the news this morning, the American troops holding their fire, and the Iraqis say they have stopped fighting, too. A huge fire in northeast Columbus destroyed a pipe supply company early today. And the Pickerington girls roll on 21 straight after the latest tournament victory. We'll have that and more for you next on News Watch 4 at Sunrise. This is me. This is me. I could never have done this without Jenny Craig. Yeah, I feel so much younger, and I know I look younger. So in the mornings when I know that I look especially cute, and I go and I say, honey, honey, my husband would go, oh, baby, you look so nice. You ought to be proud of yourself, and I just turn around and let him look at me. Announcing the final week of our $79 service fee. Call 1-800-76-JENNY. Final week. Call now. This Thursday at Lazarus, get an extra 30% off selected clearance. Look for the sign and hurry in for the best savings during Lazarus' 14-hour sale, Thursday only. This week at Pickway, selected men's work and sports styles, just $16.99 to $29.99. Save $5 to $10 now at Pickway. Mark Joyce. In Stokely, USA, we use a special white lighter in our cans to keep the vegetables tasting like vegetables, not like a can. Fresh from Stokely, USA. Newswatch 4 at sunrise is closed captioned for the hearing impaired. This is Newswatch 4 at sunrise, Central Ohio's news leader, with Tom Campbell and meteorologist Fred Atkin. Well, good morning. This is Thursday, February the 28th, the last day of this short month. Day to remember in many parts of the world. We'll be talking to Paoli Lacey in a few minutes. She is directing an OSU theater production, Red Nose. I think you'll enjoy what she has to say. We have 33 degrees on this Thursday morning, and we can tell you it's been snowing off and on through the night in places, but we are starting a warm up today. Here it, with go. the Here it goes. Temperatures last couple days were in the 30s. Today they'll be in the 40s, 50s, maybe even some 60s coming down the line as we start March. Okay. You can do that three times, and then uh, then you call, call for traveling or something. Something like that. At the moment, we have cloudy skies with some snow off to the north, and we'll show you exactly where it is. The wind chill is 25. The temperature is 33. Humidity is 69%. Winds out of the south at 7. Barometer rising 30.09 with those cloudy skies. 33 here, 27 degrees. Up at Toledo, 29 at Findlay, 26 at Cleveland, 24 Youngstown, 31 down at the Queen City. Here's the radar picture, and we did see a little band of snow moving through the area off to the northeast fairly quickly. Dry behind it, of course, for the time being. The warm front pushing through the area. Behind that, some much milder weather for us for the time being. This is a ground coating kind of snow as it moves through. Here's our forecast today. We will go for a few morning flurries and turning partly sunny for the afternoon. Not that bad. Milder with a high temperature today of 44. Yesterday, in comparison, temperatures were in the mid-30s, so we'll jump it up about 10 degrees. We don't know how to act. Yep. <laughs> frisky. We'll get frisky. Uh-oh. <laughs> we're in trouble. Time to go up to Sergeant Bill Taylor in Yellow Thunder for a look at our Thursday morning rush hour traffic. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Tom. A mild morning. Roadways clear and dry. And there's our shot of 71 and the Hudson Street area. Both directions seem to be moving along fairly well. That's one of the few interchanges where all the ramps will be staying open for the period of the construction, which gets geared up tomorrow morning. There won't be any ramp closing at 71 and Hudson, but just about everywhere else, especially as far as uh, on-ramps go for the North Freeway. So keep that in mind. We'll be enjoying our last uh, morning drive free of the, the barrels this morning, Tom. And as we check around elsewhere, we are accident-free. The outline area is doing fairly well. We'll have an update in about a half an hour. Tom? All right. Thank you, Bill. In our news this morning, the war is over, at least for now. Within hours after President Bush called for a ceasefire, Iraq also ordered its troops to stop all fighting. It's now about 2.30 p.m. in the war zone. Allied troops stopped defensive action six and a half hours ago. Seven months ago, America and the world drew a line in the sand. We declared that the aggression against Kuwait would not stand. And tonight, America and the world have kept their word. There are conditions to end the war. Iraq must release all prisoners of war, all hostages, and the remains of those killed. It must tell where all land and sea mines are and obey all 12 UN resolutions on Kuwait. If the Iraqis start shooting again or fire Scud missiles, the war will go on.
but it is a time of pride. Pride in our troops, pride in the friends who stood with us in the crisis, pride in our nation, and the people whose strength and resolve made victory quick, decisive, and just. And soon, we will open wide our arms to welcome back home to America our magnificent fighting forces. No one country can claim this victory. Not all troops will be returning soon. Some will be needed in the Gulf to keep the peace for now. The Wake City is shattered by the war, but people there turned out to greet the GIs and coalition forces as they moved in. Boys and girls, adults too. Some overcome with emotion as they welcome the liberators. Flags flying everywhere as seven months of terror and hiding came to an end for many. Across Ohio and the nation, there were cheers of joy for the troops, too. Damon's clubhouse just down the street from the TV station was typical, but some remind us the real challenge now is to reach a lasting peace. Others want Saddam Hussein eliminated. Still, the overall mood was thanks for a job well done. Uh, the military did very well, and I'm very proud. Oh, I think it's wonderful that uh, hostilities are coming to an end. Uh, I'm very pleased that uh, the Allies have done as well as they have, and they've made this a short war. Very proud of all of those folks over there. And so it may be over over there, and now the U.S. plans to start a massive diplomatic push to secure the post-war peace. Kuwaitis have been watching from many places around the world as their country has been liberated. Bob Singleton spent some time with an Ohio State student who showed him a familiar world that no longer exists. Hi, Tarek. Millions have been made TV news junkies by the war, but Tarek Ahmad has a special need to compare today's pictures with these shot seven months ago at his Kuwait City home. It's okay just to see what's, what's happened to the house, but I, I, I have no idea what's going on in there. I don't even know if it's still standing like it is right now. His was a wealthy and influential neighborhood, a fact noted by Iraqi collaborators when the occupation began. Which caused probably a capture of many, many of the Westerners, so-called guests for Saddam Hussein, and probably many of the Kuwaiti people. There's a lot of businesses over here. These have all been burnt out. I'm sure, you, I'm sure you're going to see footage eventually of all this area. This is the stock market in Kuwait. Um, it's a, God only knows what this building looks like, because I understand they've bombed many of the major buildings in downtown Kuwait City. And there was no tension. Nobody, nobody knew. No, I mean, it, it, nobody had an, any idea what, what was cooking next door. With the liberation, Ahmad is eager to return to Kuwait to be a part of the rebuilding. I'm not sure what my role will be, but it'll, I'll, I'll have a role. Absolutely. Tarek Ahmad finishes his last final on March 12th. He does not expect to be in town for commencement. He expects to be back home in Kuwait City by then. He knows his family members are safe, but as for friends and neighbors, again, he has no idea. Bob Singleton, Newswatch 4 at Sunrise. The support shown for the American forces has stunned and pleased many people who remember when it wasn't always that way. And that support is continuing. First Community Church last night, a proclamation for the troops and their families, and a request to light candles every Wednesday night at 7 to remember them and all those who serve around the world. Columbus Metropolitan Library is breaking ground today for two new branches in the 2900 block of South High and the 3600 block of Livingston Avenue. We have 33 degrees on this Friday morning, Thursday morning. Our time is 6.38. We'll be right back. crop residue you leave to conserve soil, the tougher it is to control grasses in your fields. But there's one grass herbicide that can take the pressure of these tough conditions. Encapsulated Microtech. Microtech is encapsulated to get through crop residue. And it's time released for season-long control. Encapsulated Microtech. It helps you conserve soil without sacrificing grass control. Now, 
Just one call puts you in touch with more than a thousand doctors. The Riverside Grant Physician Referral Service makes it easy for you to choose your doctor. For family medicine, heart care, orthopedics, maternity, whatever your needs, Central Ohio's best health care is now at your fingertips. Call the Riverside Grant Physician Referral Service at 261-5100 and we'll help find the right doctor for you. My crew can't be slowed by all the sanding that's needed here. And the dust. Well, I have to consider their health. That's why I called Sandback. I want to paint and paper, not sand. And the dust? Not in my new bathroom. I called Sandback. My heart and soul is in this business. Shut down because of dust? I'm expanding. I had my contractor call Sandback. 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 We're in the white pages. Sandback Dust the Sanding, 471-1820. When you're out there in today's fast-moving business world, National Car Phones can help you outpace the competition by installing a cellular car phone today. National Car Phones has been offering Ameritech cellular service since 1984. We don't just install phones, we back them with the best customer service plan in the industry. Our experienced sales staff can help you choose from a wide selection to suit your professional needs. Visit us at 999 Bethel Road. National Car Phones, the experienced leader in cellular technology. 33 at 20 before 7, an early morning fire has destroyed a northeast side pipe company. Dozens of firefighters fought the blaze at tubular service supply on Bonham Avenue. At times, the flames could be seen a mile away. There were several explosions from storage tanks inside that company and very dense smoke. Firefighters had trouble getting water to those flames. The problem was when we tried to supply our lines with water, uh, we were getting very poor water supply. So um, as it turned out, all we could do at that time was make a defensive stand and just um, surround the fire at that, that point and just put it out. The fire went two alarms plus some extra units. There is still equipment on the scene. Hours after the fire was under control, there is no word yet on a cause or a dollar loss. And the crack squad was busy into the night at a public housing project. A raid on an apartment at Poindexter Village turned up a crack, cash, and five guns, including two powerful 357 Magnums. Four people from Detroit were arrested. Police say they usually work out of Poindexter Village, but move their operation every few days. They had police scanners in that apartment, and the doors are barricaded, but that did not stop the raiders. Ohio Senator John Glenn says he feels completely vindicated from that so-called Keating 5 investigation. The Senate Ethics Committee has ended its investigation of Glenn and three other senators accused of influence peddling involving former savings and loan kingpin Charles Keating. The committee did find California Senator Alan Cranston may have violated ethics, but Cranston says he will fight that. The New York stock market rebounded Wednesday as the war entered its final hours. The Dow Industrials average went up 24 and a half points in pretty heavy trading. Some of the big gainers were stocks of companies that could prosper from the rebuilding of Kuwait. And Ohio State University has bought about 1,100 acres next to the Karen Agricultural Center in Madison County. That will almost double the amount of land OSU has there for the annual Farm Science Review. We have 33 degrees. 642. We'll be right back to uh, check the traffic and you'll learn about Red Note. Because of a just completed special purchase of 1990 General Motors cars, you can buy any fully loaded 1990 on our showroom floor, only $75.99 or less. You can choose from Corsicas, Cavaliers, Geo Metros, and Pontiac Thunberg. And all of these cars are equipped with automatic transmission, air conditioning, AM, FM stereo, and more. Take your choice of any fully loaded 1990 on the showroom floor, as well as $169 a month with no money down. Don't miss this spectacular sale. Any fully loaded 1990 on the showroom floor, $75.99 or less at Bill Swad Chevrolet. To show you everything that's on sale during SNK's $10 million winter clearance sale, the SNK Dummy Cam. Suits by Adolfo and Henry Russell are reduced to an all time low of just $199.97. Sport coats by Lord and Taylor are $79.97. Botany 500 raincoats are just $79.97. And hundreds of sport shirts, sweaters, and slacks are just $9.97. So get to SNK, but look out for the Dummy Cam. $10 million clearance savings now in effect.
Since 1923, Bible Literature International has provided millions of people with copies of God's Word in 170 countries around the globe. Bible Literature International, BLI. If you want to help reach the world, we're certainly someone you can depend on. Bible Literature International, we deliver the Word to a waiting world. For the first time ever, and with great pride, White's presents the biggest sale of premier quality upholstered furniture staged in Ohio in many years. White's has purchased these magnificent factory showroom samples from Drexel Heritage at huge savings. All of these sofas and chairs, plus all of White's show floor samples, are now available for prompt delivery at actual discounts of 33 to 52 percent. This sale is only at the White's showroom in the Dublin Village Center. We're approaching 645. We have 33 degrees. You're checking the traffic at I-71 and 17th. And most of the headlights headed southbound, as usual at this hour. Things are looking good. Sergeant Bill Taylor has more from Yellow Thunder in a few minutes, and he'll remind you that, that today is the last day of three lanes of traffic in both directions because the work starts tomorrow for the summer. We're expecting warm-up as February leaves and March arrives. Here's Brent. As I was going down uh, last week down I-71, it was kind of interesting. They had that, uh, that sign that said, they're coming back. All those uh, orange barrels uh, start tomorrow. Well, weather warms up between now and then. We are looking for uh, kind of a cool start to the day, 33 with the wind chill to 25. Winds are south at 7, barometer rising and the humidity at 69%. Cloudy weather, but even though we do have that slight area of snow moving through here, really just some light dusting of snow across the Great Lakes. The good news, the good news across the country is the rain that they're getting out in California, a couple of inches already. More expected later on today with lots of heavy mountain snow. You can see that storm moving on to the shore. That's the one storm. There's a second and a third storm behind that, which will be moving in later on the weekend. We've got some cloudy skies now as that system continues to push through. So the forecast for today does have the clouds, does have some flurries this morning, partly sunny this afternoon, milder as we hit 44 this afternoon, and even milder than that tomorrow and the weekend, Tom. Okay, thank you, Brett. The Ohio Super Lotto jackpot's going to grow to uh, eight million dollars for saturday night there were uh, no big winners last night on 12 27 32 38 39 and 40. and the kicker was 417569 but uh, nobody had all six of those in order either the ohio state university department of theater is performing red noses this week and next at the uh, thurber theater in the drake union by the olentangy river paoli lacy is the director and she is our guest today welcome Great to be here. I know your play opened last night, so you're probably a little bit tired. Oh, you got it. <laughs> well, tell us a bit about what this play is about. This is something that's set back in the Middle Ages. Yeah, it's set in the 1300s, and it's a play that really examines how we have to have faith in the chaos of life as opposed to having faith in some kind of order that comes down on top of us and says, okay, you do this, you do that. And so. It's a pretty good play to be working on at this point in the world. It seems like having faith in that you're going to get through the chaos and that you can love and laugh at it all is a good thing to think about these days. Okay, now you're from San Francisco. You're visiting Ohio State to work mm -hmm. on this play. Mm -hmm. And is this a play that you've been involved in with for quite some time? Well, I first started talking to the theater department at Ohio State about doing this show last April. Mm -hmm. So in that way, I've been involved with it for a while. I have some small involvement in some other productions of it, but I'd never directed a production of it, and we've been working on this one since early January. Okay, what's the basis of the title, Red Noses? Well, it's a clown play. It's a clown play for grown-ups. So we, we have this troop of clowns that go through trying to figure out ways that you can have more fun and laugh at the grim realities of things. And okay make the world better from they're, having a good time. They're dealing with some serious situations that, uh, I think the plague? Plagues, uh, miseries. Uh, the original, when the plague starts, the plague is really the, the really big problem. The, a third of the world is dying. That, that's pretty grim. A after, the, by the time the play ends, the, the plague is over and they're still using clowning to try to, as they say in the play, open the gates of paradise above and here below. Now you have quite a bit of experience in clowning. You worked with the Ringling Brothers, I understand. Ringling Brothers, a number of circuses and alternative 
theater companies that use circus skills, mm -hmm. both um, touring and in California. Is this something that uh, that you can uh, turn on and turn off, or do you have to put yourself in a clown role to do this? Well, I don't know. They say that it's, <laughs> it's kind of always like that. Huh? <laughs> we used to say in the clown company that I worked with for a while that the difference between amateurs and professionals was that amateurs did it when they felt like it and professionals felt like it when the time came to do it. <laughs> okay. Now, Red Nose has started last night. It will go this weekend and it will pick up again in the middle of next week, right? Runs through March 9th. Okay. If somebody likes some information about tickets, how could they get some? Call the ticket office at Drake Union. Okay. Good idea. It's $6 to $9 are the ticket prices. And you see the number on your screen, 292 2295. That's the OSU Drake, Drake Union ticket office. Red Noses is the play. It's on this week and next. Nice to see you, Paoli Lacey, the director. Great to be here. Have a good time at the show. Okay, thank you. Well, I heard John Corby say on the radio last night he ate lunch at Briggs High School Wednesday. His aunt is the cook there, so you know it's good. So here's that menu for you today. We have Big Ten basketball tonight. It'll be Indiana at Michigan State among the games. If the Spartans win, Ohio State will have at least a share of the conference title. And we have 33 degrees at 9 before 7. We'll check high school basketball tournament action in just a moment. If you're looking for the best mattress at the best price around, look no more. Lazarus is cutting prices in half on every Sealy, Stearns and & Foster, and Serta. And we're here to demonstrate our point. This Thursday only, for 14 hours, save 50% on every Sealy, every Stearns & Foster, and every Serta. At half off, twin sizes start at just $49.99. So if you don't buy your mattress at Lazarus, you'll probably pay too much. Now's your chance to get 50% off during our 14-hour mattress sale, Thursday only at Lazarus. Understand, this is nothing personal. It's business. Before we get started, what do you want on your tombstone? Mm. Mushrooms and red peppers. I'm trying to eat light. Right. Joey, Tombstone Light. Introducing 90% fat-free Tombstone Light Pizza. Lean meats and special toppings make Tombstone Light 90% fat-free and delicious. So what do you want on your tombstone? Mm. This is going to make a big splash. By now, it should come as no surprise to you that Lexus is a better value than BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Infiniti. Now Lexus is a better value than ever before. If you've been wondering if driving a Lexus is within your reach, think again. Because now, we're willing to work a lot harder to sell a lot more cars. But these are not just ordinary cars, and these are not just ordinary prices. So see us at Lexus of Columbus. You just won't find a better value in any other luxury or sports sedan. Now, more than ever. Inside the training rooms of every major professional sport, I found a secret to my arthritis pain relief. Flexol 454. Flexol is the locker room product of the NFL and the only pain-relieving gel endorsed by the trainers of professional football, basketball, baseball, and hockey. Flexol's modern aloe vera base says goodbye to those smelly old-fashioned liniments. And now, Flexol's available to the rest of us who live with pain. Flexol 454, the pain relief pro trainers recommend. 33 at 7 before 7, the Pickerington High School girls team is going after its second straight Division I state title, and they are taking their cue from MC Hammer. No one has been able to touch the Tigers so far this season. They cruise to their third straight district tournament win, 64 to 23 over Westerville North. Michelle Shade had 22 for Pickerington. Kelly Mormon hit some long ones and ended up with 20 points. Pickerington moves into the one of the district title games Saturday. Pickerington is now 21 and nothing for the season. They'll play Franklin Heights for a spot in the Wapakoneta Regional. Heights ousted Delaware by six. Division two, Beechcroft and Whitehall advanced to the lower bracket title game with wins over Bexley and Circleville. Division three, Jonathan Alder rolled over Mount Gilead. 
Grandview beat a Liberty Union to set up another district title matchup. In the boys' tourney, Grove City taking care of East. Groveport continued its surprising play with a win over Westland. In Division Three, Bloom Carroll beat Johnstown, and Pleasant ended North Union season. College play, Central Michigan with an overtime win over Miami, and Western Michigan stunned Ohio U. The NAIA district winners were Rio Grande, Malone, and Tippett. And the news from the Cleveland Indians camp should be no surprise. Veteran first baseman Keith Hernandez will probably have back surgery. He signed a two-year big money contract with the Tribe last year, but missed most of the season with assorted injuries. He really hasn't played very much since 1987. We have a ruby trash day in Columbus. Our time is five and a half before seven, 33 degrees. We'll be right back. Once again, the big long distance phone companies are gearing up for another round of advertising. If you're convinced that this has nothing to do with better long distance service, call Lytel. We'll provide your business with highly responsive local service on an all digital network at competitive prices. However, we won't provide the latest dirt on the competition. Lytel, taking care of business. The Domit lighting system is your answer to the energy saving ceiling of tomorrow. Domit ceilings pay for themselves with energy efficient fluorescent lighting and ceiling fans. Eliminate high wattage, ineffective spot or track lighting. No more dark spots or shadows, just bright, beautiful light. In most cases, the Domit ceiling can be completely installed in your home or condo in less than a day by skilled craftsmen. Call 338-8282 today for a free estimate. MasterCard and Visa are welcome. Let's talk about special deals, not some going out of business, liquidation, everything to the walls must go, smoke damage, water damage, IRS come collecting kind of special. No, this is a rent-to-own special from your Get It Today store, RTO. RTO's got some pre-rented merchandise that you can own in 12, 9, or even 6 months. 6 months and you own it. Close the books, the payments are over. It's yours, you own it in 12, 9, or even 6 months. Come on down to RTO or look us up in the white pages under <gasps> RTO. Some say the work ethic was born here, and with it, healthy appetites. So it's not surprising that Bob Evans, we offer folks hearty, home-style meals. And if they like mashed potatoes, we give folks extra big helpings. No extra charge. The way it was is the way it is. Welcome to Bob Evans. The U.N. Security Council meets this morning to consider what amounts to Iraq's surrender in the Gulf War. Allied forces stopped offensive action at midnight, our time. They didn't have anybody to fight. About three hours later, Iraq ordered its troops not to fight anymore. Iraq promises to honor all 12 U.N. Security Council resolutions as the Allies demand, including paying for war damage. A huge fire this morning in northeast Columbus. The Tubular Service Supply Company on Bonham Avenue destroyed in a two-alarm fire. They had trouble with water pressure and getting water onto the blaze. Several storage tanks inside exploded, but no injuries are reported. A bit earlier, the crack team went to Poindexter Village Housing Project on North Champion. They found a barricaded apartment that went in and arrested four Detroit men. They found thousands of dollars in crack and cash and several pistols. Let's go to Sergeant Bill Taylor in Yellow Thunder for another look at the morning crack. Let's take a look at our shot from tower cam right now. 315 flow while it's building up seems to be pretty much under control in the early going, Tom. From the outline areas, about 20 to 25 minutes drive time. If you're leaving now, should put you probably on downtown streets in fairly good shape. This is the last morning we're enjoying 71 without the orange barrel. So remember, for tomorrow morning's rush hour, those will be in place with all of the various on-ramp closures that we had last spring. So you'll want to be ready for that. And we'll have an update in about a half an hour. Tom? Okay, consider it ready. Warmer today and tomorrow, maybe some rain. Here's Brett. Rain, especially, I think, for the weekend, or uh, tomorrow and into the weekend, as we're looking at a milder weather pattern starting later today. 33 right now. Winds are out of the south at 7 miles per hour. That's going to be a key, that south wind. The wind chill right now is 25. As far as where rain and snowfall are going to occur across the country, just a little light snow to the north of us today. Showers for Texas and some much-needed rain 
on California, some big mountain snow too there. As we're looking at temperatures in California in the 70s, around here, temperatures today will climb into the 40s. Good news. Our forecast will shoot for a high today of 44 with partly sunny skies. Now watch the temperature. 44 today. We'll jump it up into the 50s tomorrow and 62 degrees. I'll cross my fingers for that one on Saturday. Okay. Wires are falling out of the back of my head already. <laughs> So excited about it being 50 and 60 degrees. <laughs> Coming up at noon today, we'll be talking to Maria Shriver about her first person interview program tonight and also about her visit to Columbus this weekend. Also today, Central Ohio Technology Day is coming up at the Ohio Center all day long and City Councilman and Mayoral Candidate Ben Espy is busy with Black History Month activities today. He has an assembly at Westland High School at 9 a.m. and a speech in Riverside Hospital's Wesley Health Center cafeteria 90 minutes later. That's it for now. We'll see you at 725 this morning. More news. Have a nice morning. Drive safe. News Watch 4, your first source for news from the Persian Gulf.